Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss Google Classrooms. It is a new learning management system to teach a class of students. Classroom helps students and teachers to organize assignments, boost collaborations, and foster better communication. So Google has created a virtual classroom on this verge of digitalization and modernization to save our time and keeps you organized and helps you to communicate with students. So not wasting much of our time, let's get started. To use Google Classrooms, we don't require any other account. We can just use, uh, use Gmail ID and the password to use it. So from here, you can get it to the Google Classroom. So just scroll it down and here is my classroom. So this is where you can actually create your virtual classroom. So here it's the option to join a class or create a class. So I'm creating a class, so here it is. The next thing we have to do is to accept all the conditions and continue. And continue. So the first thing which is uh, write to class name. So I'm writing a class name for and it is a compulsory field which we have to fill. I am getting a subject for English. So this is how I can create a class. It's been created. My class has been created. Now you can see this is my class. You can uh, you can change the theme of, uh, of this by selecting a theme from here, from the Google library itself, or by uploading an image from your PC. So I'm uploading an image from my PC. So I'm getting an image from the English. Now my uh, image has been uploaded. Now you can select a selective part to uh, get uh, to make it a theme of your, or you have to crop a, or drag a region that you want to make a theme. So then select class theme. Now you can see in my class, my theme has been changed from here. So here you can see. The next thing is here is the class code, which you have to share with your students so that the students can have access to the class. So you can add an announcement or you can communicate with the students using this option. So if you want to add an announcement to your class, so write it over here. students are requested to submit the assignments by tomorrow this is how you can add a add a post to the classroom so here are three options a uh, post which means as and when you click this option the post has been uploaded the next thing is schedule it means that you have to give a specific time and date and time when it's being it will, it will be uploaded the next thing is to save a draft so let's post it up so it's being posted now You can also add a, a link with, these, uh, with this uh, announcement by using this option. So there being an error, so let's try it again. So now you can see my post has been created over here. You can add a class comment over here also by you can have a conversation with the students from here. So Like I am posting, please do it as So here I can post it over here, and by clicking on this, I have made a made a con class comment over here. Please do it as The next thing is to create a classwork for the students. You can make it. You can create it using this create option from here. You can either make assignment or quiz assignment or the question or a study material. So let's create an assignment with here. So you just have to write the title over here. English test.
So this is how I have created an instructions for the student and you can add a file from your uh, from your PC or a Google Drive or you can link us here other website. So I'm uploading a file. So I'm just uploading my file from my drive you can see or I can upload from the device also. So I'm uploading it from here. You can see it's an English test over here. You can see it's a Word document. Now let's just click on the upload option. It's being uploaded over here, you can see. Now, this is how I have uploaded an assignment for the students. Now the next thing is uh, here we have to add a due date, uh, which is the last submission date of the assignment. So let's post it on uh, 2nd June. And the time is being optional. You can add also a topic, great topic. So this is this is this is how you can create an assignment over assignment and post it over here. Now the next thing is you, either you can assign it now or you can schedule it or save a draft or you can delete this also. So I'm assigning this assignment to the students. So now you can see that it's being assigned. Now my assignment has been created. You can see over here. So here it's the Google Calendar. If I want to make a, I can schedule it over, use this over, use this to create an things to just make a template or a, or schedule my things using this uh, Google Calendar also. So I can make a class drive folder also, or I can uh, keep all the assignments related to a particular subject in a particular folder in a particular drive. So you can see over here. The next thing is the people. Here you can add the teachers to the class and the students to your class. You just have to write an email ID. Like you just have to type an email ID over here. Like I'm getting it. XYZ at the rate gmail.com. You can just add it and invite them. Likewise, you can also invite the students using their email ID or you can give them the class code so that they can access the class. The next thing is the grades. It means that the courses you have uploaded using the Google Forms and how much marks they have scored in those tests will be shown over here and with the respective students and their respective marks. So now let's get back to our class and let's share this code and try to access this class as a as a student now just copy it and the new now you can see from using this again google classroom from here i can access as a student and i can join the class now you just have to click on the plus icon and now next thing is the join class enter the class code from here and join Now you can see this is how this is how a student can access here their upcoming event due Tuesday. It means that the English has, test has been due by Tuesday. You have to complete it and submit it. So here, here you can see the upcoming events. Or if you want to uh, have a group discussion and with your class, with your class, so you can write it over here and ask it, ask them from here. Or you can add and upload a document from here also and just click on the post icon. The next thing you can see over here, here is the here is the some assignments and the comment of the students comments uh, created by the teacher. So here you can see. Now let go to the classwork. Now you can see there is an English test over here. So here is the English test. Now you can view the assignment from using this. You can also have a private com comments with your teacher if you have any doubt that you want to ask to your teacher and you be, uh, feel being shy in front of lots of students so you can have a private conversation with your teachers so your doubts is being cleared and you can do it well. So I, you can have a private comments over here. Like I'm 
in how to access the assignment. So here by clicking this, you can have a private conversation with the teacher. You can see here, you can uh, talk with your teacher. It means the private comments are only visible to your teacher. So this is, you can have a private, co uh, private comments or you can have a class comments from here. The next thing you have to do is you have, if you have uh, completed your assignment, you just have to upload it from using this, using a Google Drive. I have given a Google Drive so the students have to uh, submit their work using a Google Drive or a link or a file, or you can create a document also Google Sheets or the Google Slides. And when, when you have done, mark as done. So just uh, let us attach a file. I'm using this. So now I have to attach a file for my assignment. So let's get this open and upload. So it's being uploaded now. Now you can turn it uh, here that you are ready to submit all your files for this assignment and turn it on. Okay. Next we have to turn in. Now that assignment attachment with the English test has been submitted by you. So this is how the student can access a classroom over here. Now let's get back to the classroom as a teacher. So here is the class. Or you can see that the class student and English test out of 100. And let us assign the teacher can assign the marks from here. So I'm getting my marks like 80. It's being view submission. I can see the assignment uploaded by the students over here. So here it is like, so I have given the 80 marks out of this. Here you can see the students over here. So here the other student, which uh, the class test. This is one turn in zero assign. One student has submitted the assignment over here. You can see this is how you can create an assignment over here. The next thing you can do, you can change your class settings from here. So I hope you understood how to create an assignment or how to create a virtual or a digital classroom using Google Classrooms. So I hope you understood. And if you have any doubt or query, you can contact us via different medium and keep practicing and all the best guys.